Hi, Barbie. I am doing Barbie things. We're wearing our pink and I'm just really excited for the movie. And there is a new trailer that's come out, a little teaser. It's actually focused around Ken and I haven't seen it yet. I want to check it out. So let's get into it. So Warner Brothers put this out a week ago. I'm really excited to see more about this movie, but I do feel like I've maybe spoiled some of it for myself, but whatever. It's I'm still going to see it. It looks great. I'm so lonely. I'm without you. You're Ken. But it's Barbie. And He's so sad. And Ken. There is no just Ken. I seem to matter what I do. I was not expecting this to be a song. <laughs> also, hello, muscles. I'm always number two. No one knows how hard I tried. Oh, oh, I, I have I'm sorry, these shots in this movie just look absolutely incredible. I, like, they literally thought of everything. And look at the dream house behind them. Feelings that I can't explain Driving me insane All my life Wait, is this all of the Kens? Why does that look like Ludwig? This one right here. <laughs> Lie, cause I'm just Ken Anywhere else I'd be Ken Is it my destiny to live? <laughs> so he's upset that he's just Ken, but but I love Ken. I had a Ken doll. I, he wasn't blonde. I had a, a Ken doll that had brown hair. Oh, she friend zoned him. So that's why he's upset. He's upset that she friend zoned him. Hmm, but who is her love interest? I wonder if she even has one. Maybe she doesn't. Ooh. That reminds me of the scene in the Transformers. Um, fuck is his name? Where Shia LaBeouf is trying to show uh, his disco ball. Like, I just put in that light there. In that disco ball. So the light reflects off the disco ball. Uh, yeah. To Megan Fox. <sighs> I don't have any muscles. Leave me alone. Honestly, though, like, I've been to Malibu, first of all, it's fucking incredible. Absolutely one of the most beautiful places ever. One of the most expensive places ever, but I have had brunch on the beach in Malibu. It was really awesome. I am so excited about this movie. I really hope that there is at least some part of my audience that is also excited about this movie and will also watch videos about the Barbie movie because it looks so damn good. And also I want to watch a video that also popped up on my recommended with you guys. It's Margot Robbie taking us inside the Barbie dream house. Welcome to Barbie's dream house. Come on in. Look at how horrifically pink it is. <laughs> Good God. They thought of everything. This is my breakfast table and my kitchen. We're in the living room right now. Here's a fun little bar and the slide that goes. Oh, the slide is so cute. Wait, but there's no pool. Practical. Wait, why is the pool not an actual pool? But nothing is for Barbie. It's just she has a flamingo room. mailbox. She has a flamingo mailbox. Also, why does she have front doors? <laughs> Everything else is wide open. <laughs> it's just 
it's just fun and gorgeous and it's see-through. So we can see each other, all the Barbies in their own Barbie dream houses wake up in the morning and they can wave at Okay, each that's other. kind of adorable. Everybody's like able to look at all the other Barbies in their houses because they always had that. Every single Barbie house didn't, it wasn't a full house. I actually had a like log cabin for my Barbies, but that's okay. This is like the product of so many discussions and so many references and I can't even tell you the meetings we've had about pink. I cannot imagine like the color pink, kinds of pinks, how much like, you needed. What is the pink and how do the pinks interact? Because I didn't want it to be so classy that it didn't, like when I was a little girl, I liked the pinkest, brightest things. But this is our white. This is our palest pink that's our white. Aww. It was pretty incredible seeing this set for the first time. It was kind of surreal because I'd spent so long looking at the miniatures and the models and the drawings and the design, you know, of what it was going to look like. And then when you see it firsthand in real life, it's all there and it's like, it's... Can you imagine building this set? Like, can you imagine being the people putting this stuff together? I can't even imagine. I would love uh, to go and take pictures there. It would be the perfect like photo shoot backdrop. And it's like, it's, I don't know, it's, it was really exciting. When we first stepped onto this set, we all were just, it's like we're in the, the real deal. So we don't have to imagine it all. It's just there in front of us. How I like her car. <laughs> because Barbie was invented in 1959, it felt like we could ground everything in that look. 1950s soundstage musicals. Gene Kelly or Vincent Minnelli, like those kind of wonderfully fake but emotionally artificial spaces. <laughs> One thing that like those, those soundstage musicals did so well were beautiful artificial skies. There's a sort of surrealness of the gradation of color. We're getting a blue sky, we're painting white clouds on it, and when you light them, you can light. Oh, so they're just painted backgrounds. I mean, that makes sense. They seriously thought of everything light them into these intense colors so you can light pink and orange from the bottom and blue from the top you can really go kind of expressionistic with it wow so with our production designer katie and her whole team have just done the most extraordinary job putting this together a lot of the things you see are actually handmade it's pretty incredible what they can do how they can look at the toothbrushes replicate them our main time frame was from the invention of Barbie through to now. The timeless pieces, which also has an echo to the actual toys that are in the dream house that Mattel make today. It's very simple and clear and beautiful. And that was one of Greta's. You can see how much love and how much research was put into this. I, When I initially heard they were doing a Barbie movie, I was like, what? What are you talking about? And then I watched the first trailer. I really wish I would have filmed it. I was sold immediately, like the first shot. There's keywords, it has to be beautiful. It has to be beautiful as well. Walking into those environments. His outfit. The <laughs> and the love and the playfulness. Oh my God. It just was so exciting. You know the one thing that was a surprise with all the little monkeys? <laughs> if you see any monkeys. Oh. He's around. I didn't ever see them in the drawings. And they have little set. monkeys. I'm just get a kick out of it. I love the bubble bar. I, I, my favorite design feature is obviously the slide that goes to the pool. And now we do a whole bit in Barbie's day where she slides down the pool to go down and have her breakfast. Taking it probably from the late 50s to it through the 60s was a big influence of that sort of modernist furniture that was coming through. The kitchen's great. So Look at the milk of, prop. You know, like physically there, but then also decal because again, playing into the world <laughs> yeah! of toys. The fridge. Hold up. Every single person who had something Barbie. This brings back insane nostalgia because like the stickers of the food. Oh, this is so adorable. Old of toys and, and how it would look if it was a Mattel product. Um, our kitchen being a great example of that. So on the back here, you have just a decal, uh, you know, so it is intentionally 2D and it's that thing where we want things to be obviously artificial, but still very satisfying. They did such a good That's job. 
There is no water in Barbie land. There's no water or fire. There are no elements. It's actually funny <laughs> to see how many people avoid walking. Everyone walks around the pool. That would make me nervous to walk really on. Beautiful. Which is kind of like everything in Barbie land. Let's take a look upstairs. We are right next to Barbie's wardrobe, and this is where she brushes her hair. A her hair brush! I have had a lot of fun on this job. There's been a lot of wigs. All the Barbies really can Oh, I can't imagine her. how many wigs she would have to have, because, like, normal hair does not really poof up the way that Barbie, ha Barbie has, like, the best hair and the most voluminous hair ever. Kind of un realistic, impossible, magical ways. In one scene, she might have hair up here, and then the, the toothbrushing scene, ponytail. I want everyone to feel like they can reach onto the screen and touch everything. Oh I mean, my so god, even the butter, even the butter is heart. With the plastic sheet over it, and everything in you wanted to take it off and take everything apart and touch everything. Just talking about Greta wanting to go inside the box. That's actually Barbie's wardrobe. This is the beautiful wardrobe yeah. that does open and the there's magical, all the clothes. The magical wardrobe. Yeah. Aww, this was a my design god. Thing that we were very excited about. We were saying that the wardrobe in Clueless, like the bar was set so high and we would really like to do something that is as cool as that. Barbie each day, her outfit is already magically here in her wardrobe. Oh, her outfit is just there oh, for her every her, day. A spin and then it's on her body. And she walks off and her outfit for the next day is sitting in the wardrobe behind her. Man, I wish I had something like that. I have too many clothes and I never know what the hell to wear. This is Barbie's toothbrush. This is how she brushes her teeth. This is her shower. There is, of course, no water in Barbie land, but she showers nonetheless. <laughs> I actually just um, would look up the old Radox commercials and try and replicate that. There's no water. Hi, Barbies. I'm definitely not thinking about death anymore. <laughs> That's way more morbid uh, and existential than I expected in a Barbie movie. Come up and see Barbie's bedroom. She wakes up with perfect hair, no morning breath. Her pajamas are impossibly ironed and beautiful still. And she feels great, energized for another perfect day in Barbie land. So the way Barbie I really want that car, blanket she though. The edge and she impossibly floats down into her car. It's like a Marilyn Monroe moment. Walks their Barbie down the steps to get into the car. You just take them from one thing and just. <laughs> That's a really good point, though. Every Barbie, you would just be playing with them and then make them jump places. You you don't make them actually walk. They just kind of bounce. That's such a cool touch. So the next thing. And as you can see, Barbie has a pretty amazing view of Barbie Land from here, and she can see where all her friends are, Barbie Emma's house, Barbie Anna's house, Barbie Alex's house, and over there is where Skipper and Midge live in little Skipper's treehouse thing, which you may have noticed was replicated from the actual toy. We consider it a heritage site. <laughs> So now Barbie is ready to start her perfect day. This is where she gets her mail, by the way. I'm obsessed with her flamingo gibberish, mailbox. Way kids kind of write endless amounts of, you know, nothing, but it's all very beautiful. I... Thank you for coming to see the boom <sighs> house. I have to get back to set now. Bye-bye. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Oh my God. This made me want to see the movie so much more. Holy crap. I hope you guys are excited about the Barbie movie in the way that I am, or at least this helps ignite some excitement in you. I know it is very far from like, my goth, edgy, alternative, whatever looks and stuff, but it is definitely a moment for like your inner child. Definitely if you grew up with Barbies. I'm very excited to see it. Let me know if you are going to go and check out the movie as well. If you want to see more videos kind of like this, I'm trying to definitely do more like pop culture, more movies, more things like that in YouTube to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.